My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. I'm gonna take you back in time, folks. This 1970 Chevy Nova SS is a 37,000 actual mile survivor car. Other than just some maintenance, it's all original, repainted one time, it's original color, uh, original top, interior, number match throughout. Matter of fact, it's documented with the Protecto plate. This is the warranty card that has the engine, transmission, all the numbers on there which match up to the car. It says who bought it new uh, from California. And then we've got the original sales contract, uh, the inspection paper when it was sold new. Here's a title issued in 1990 with the same name that's on the Protecto plate. They must have moved, or yeah, they moved to Kansas. Uh, we have original canceled checks uh, when the car was bought new and the receipt for those. So we got a really nice original Survivor. Those are so hard to come by. Uh, and this is an air-conditioned car. The air is ice cold. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures. And that's where you'll find price tags on all of our cars, including a monthly finance option as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me and let's go for a spin. So underneath the car is just nice, maintained. You know, it's never been, uh, not even spray painted under there. So what you're seeing is original. Uh, the floors, the braces, the inner rockers, the lower quarters underneath here, it's zero rust, zero patches, zero rotten metal, nothing is hidden. Like I said, not even spray painted. So it's clean, original metal underneath there. Um, <clears throat> It's got, the front end has had some work done. Uh, I see some new bushings on the uh, sway bar and it uh, looks like some of the steering control units or pieces, components are replaced. The shocks look like they've been replaced. So it's been maintained. You look at the bottom of the motor, it's clean. Never had any spray paint on it, but it's not greasy either. Uh, original style starter, that looks fresh. Original Turbo 350 automatic is nice and clean. Has a 12 bolt, the original 12 bolt rear end in the back. They did put an aluminum thinned cover on it. Helps keep the fluid in there cooler. Uh, so it is the original drive line. Uh, they did put a dual exhaust system with Flowmaster muffler, so it sounds real nice. Has disc brakes up front, because it is a real super sport. Uh, the e-brake is all hooked up. So it's very, very proper and complete. Sway bars front and back. Um, good, clean, original underside. The body is also excellent. I noticed when you close the doors, they shut like a new car. Uh, all the gaps are all nice and straight and square. Everything fit, fits real nice. No dents, no damage. It's all smooth all the way down. Doors line up real nice, flush, no bubbles, all clean around here. Even underneath the factory dimples, the spot welds are still there. Uh, you rarely find that because usually they're cut off, repaired, bondoed over. But anyway, back to the body, it's excellent. The gaps are right. This side's just as straight, no damage, no issues. Original, all original metal. Repainted one time, it's original Cortez silver color. The paint job is very nice, probably about equivalent to what it would have been like new in 1970. There's a little texture, a little dust in the paint, but the metal flake is laid out, it's smooth, it's glossy. Uh, it's a very good uh, paint job. Vinyl tops, original, excellent shape. There's no bumps, there's no splits or creases. All the original glass is also very clear. This car went through our shop. It's already been serviced. One of the things they did was uh, one of the plastic rollers and one of the back windows were broke. Uh, so all the windows roll up and down real smooth. Uh, they replaced the brake hose and they bled the brake system. 
Uh, the air conditioning, like I said, is ice cold. Actually, we didn't even have to service that. It was working fine. Uh, so the car is turnkey, ready to go. This is anodized trim around these windows, shiny and straight, few light scratches. It is original. The mirror has little freckles in the chrome, uh, but original windshield. The original louvers are real nice. Up front, the bumper, the grill, all the trim. There's going to be a little hairline scratch, a little nick, a little mark. But considering it's original, I'm going to say it's very good condition. 350 emblem, marker lights, all original, molding down the side. Again, a little nick, a little mark, but very good. 14 by 7 rally wheels. The trim is bright and shiny, and the caps are shiny. That's like a new car. So now the Super Sports have this blacked out panel in the middle, tail lights, bumper, all of it's very nice. So the car shows really well on the exterior. We're going to open it up, go back in time. I'm going to show you what a 52-year-old interior looks like. All right, like I said, we're going back in time. This is unrestored original. The spatter paint, they call it, that speckled paint out of a spray can is different. This is the factory spatter paint, which means this has never been rusted. These are the original quarter panels. Now you do get moisture under the mat. So somebody did spray some gray primer here because you got surface, it's rock solid. You have a little surface rust, uh, rust just from moisture it collects under these. The mat is in excellent shape, has a rally wheel. The jack assembly is back there. Under the trunk lid, this is the original paint, the original sticker. Weather strip is probably new, it's real soft. So nice, clean, clean original trunk compartment. I love original spatter paint. I actually had a panic moment. I thought, oh my God, what if the new detailer sprayed over that? And I opened it up to see it was still original. And thank God. I think the actual door, uh, door jam is the original paint. You can see how nice and clean it still is. Weather strip, I think, is original, but in really nice shape. Door panels are original. You know, the passenger side is excellent. Driver's side is excellent, too. The only thing new in this interior is carpet. A nice, fresh carpet. But looking across the dash, the pad is mint. The lens is clear. The heater controls are excellent. The AM radio is the original, nothing, and it works. It's not cut up or broken. All across here is nice and clean. The vents are nice. Light works. Original owner's manual. SS steering wheel. There's no cracks. I was just making fun of all the seat belts. It has all the original seat belts. But some of these are for your shoulder belts. So there's a set for the person in the middle because it's a bench seat. Now there's all the seat belts. There is a repair <clears throat> on the seat right here. But again, this is the original interior uh, in really nice shape. One works. Back seat's in excellent shape. And all the trim, the side panels, the back speaker uh, shelf, all of this is mint. The headliner, tight as a drum. Dome light works. There are no, no mouse holes or tears. The mirror is real nice. So you got an interior that's in excellent shape, and it's all original except carpet. There's a saying, you can restore a car as many times as you want, but they're only original ones. Find a nice low mile muscle car is not easy to do. You can find low mile Cadillacs and Lincolns, but nobody let a muscle car just sit in the garage. So anyway, number match original motor, cold working factory air. It's got power steering, power disc brakes. Got all the original valve covers and manifolds, even the fuel filter. All the hoses and everything's run properly. Optum uh, uh, gel cell battery, yeah, correct exhaust manifolds, even the heat riser tube underneath here. 
that's one of them parts. You take the air cleaner off, that falls off and gets left on the bench. But even that is there. Uh, very, very complete. Come over here. There's a little solenoid or a switch. I think there's something to do with the choke or something. But those are the little pieces that disappear over the years. And uh, this car's got them. They did buy a chrome cover that would have been black, but that's changed. The shroud, the fan, the pollution can down here, because it's a California car, I guess, is a pollution can. It sells the original tape around the original hoses. The squirters are hooked up. See a really well-preserved original motor compartment. I call this car a sweetheart. I've been doing that for years. To me, the name just automatically comes to mind when it's just a nice, clean car. The window rolls smooth. The door shuts nice. You ride around the parking lot. You can just tell the difference. No squeaks, no rattles. Things are functioning properly. That's a sweetheart. And that's what we've got here. But it's still a muscle car. It's, a it's 1970. It has the peak of the horsepower. Uh, it's a 300 horsepower, number matching car, documented car, cold air conditioning. It's ready to just go out and, and uh, enjoy. Go to volocars.com. That's my impression. If you have questions, talk to the salesman. They'll help you the best they can. Uh, they'll help get this delivered to your door. They'll help you finance the car at volocars.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell icon so you're notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.